How are we going, everyone? We are back with another one of some FC24 career mode Arsenal. Let's get it, guys. And um, pretty much played a few matches, guys, since we would have last played our match. Um, I think that would have potentially been the F1. Not the F1. Goodness me. I'm flipping thinking about the F1 on the weekend. The Liverpool match that we played. And, um, yeah, that was a battering, obviously. But um, Which is surprising because um, I struggled against other teams. All up, we're pretty much having a good season. Even though I've been having my struggles and stuff, I've still been trying to push through and stuff. And I think I'm slowly getting used to the game. I always say this and then I end up like something crazy ends up happening. But I played a few games since then and we're now in the January transfer window. As you can see, all the window is about to finish. So I'll just quickly give you a rundown of the team I've actually done. And going forward, so what I've done is I've played my first team and I've played my second team. And this is like pretty much the same when I have a week of games or I have three three games in one week. Like I'll play a game, for example, on Sunday and then I'll play a Champions League match on the weekend or FA Cup and then play another match on the weekend with my like squad rotation, my second team players. These are the players that are pretty much tired from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign a centre back because I've realised Saliba and Gabriel pretty much keep getting tired. So I'm going to bring Zinni into the middle. I'm going to rotate between Partey, Rice, Zinni and um, Zubamende in the middle. I've got Hinkape who can play left centre back. I've got Tommy Asu, Timba, Ben White as a right back. Tommy Asu can play right back as well and Timba. So that way my centre backs, I can rotate Gabriel Saliba between a centre back. Um, I'm still scouting, scouting centre backs and there's like a few people I've found. I'm still waiting on like final results and stuff. This guy looks solid by the way. He's like 20 and like look at him. So maybe for the future, but I'm, I'm not replacing Ben White. I was thinking Guy, um, Gay, I think he's like, <clears throat> he's like perfect. He's a 79. He's not like fir first team quality, but like a good price. Um, can play like left centre back or centre back and um, pretty young still as well. I was looking at this guy as well, also as well. 23, 23 mil release clause as well. He's not too bad either. It's so annoying because like I want to get some of these players now as well. Garcia's not too bad. He plays for City as well. He can also come in. And then all these people are like, like ball playing centre backs as well. So they can pass out the back as well. I was also looking at this guy as well, but he's left footed. I want someone that can play kind of that's like has a weak foot as well, which is um this guy and guy. So those are my two centre backs I was looking at. And then this guy, I think he might be a bit too old. So it's between um this trust guy and um guy. All right, guy is guys. I think he's perfect, man. 79. Again, he can play kind of left centre back, centre back, rope perfect rotation player don't want to sell any of my other center backs i'm happy maybe this guy we could sell maybe offer him and then 20 20 mil i reckon let's see how we do with that see if he takes that 25 he, he wants a center back i don't want release scores hold on i feel like we're overpaying here but thingy i checked guy's um prospect like his future rating and he goes to like an 85, so that's that's pretty good. We can't really mess up this deal. Alright, what about 21? 20, 20, you really want that 25? Alright, hold on. Let's meet in the middle. 23. I hate this bargaining stuff, man. Cool. So, we got Guy. I feel like they're going to say we overpaid. Um, as long as he's not... I don't even want to give him an important role. Rotation, yes. Perfect, see? That's exactly what I want to give him rotation there you go guys so he's not he's not going to be starting and he goes up to an 85 so at some point he's going to be like perfect to just slot in i don't do any of them bonus things we'll just see if he accepts that yeah if he accepts it without it's not what he's oh but he's okay good i thought we messed up on that one at right, liverpool oh, at home let's get it to watch a football match i'm talking about the emirates let's see if we can continue the unbeaten season that we're that we're on, on the i think did we get knocked Stuart out of the carabao cup we might have got knocked out of the carabao cup i'm not sure maybe oh sugar Diaz. oh is that a penalty, is penalty. A <sighs> goodness me this is not good here. this is not good 
Liverpool might be on their revenge. They might be on their revenge. Where's Salah going? He's going right. He's going right. What a save. What a, be what a beautiful penalty save that was. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when nah. you're playing Dominic Also, football, I am, as much as Harvest has been good this season, I want so like a proper, no like, pacey moment. striker. So, who knows? I might I might get rid of him next season. I can't see how they let this slip. Nice. That's a lovely ball. And quick thinking defensively. Yeah, cool. And they deal with the threat this time. Damn, can't believe that, though. Good penalty save. There you go. Havertz. Bro, there's a lot of runners. Rice. Nice weight on the pass. Oh, oh. oh that was good play. Again and again and again. That was really good play, that. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, what? Bro, what is Martinelli doing? Why is he running away from the ball? The danger. And the cross goes oh in. man, these crosses. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they Come on. fire at home. Nice. White. We are playing out the back so well. And playing it through. In oh my save. gosh. Oh, Bro. Right <laughs> oh man. Honestly, that's two two clear chances we've had now. My fear sometimes with Odegaard is not having that right foot, like he, it always needs to be on his left. not to have taken the lead there, because that was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. What a good save that was. An alert intervention. We've had the be better chances, Arsenal though. I see you, bro. This is a goal. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Sorry, headphone users. I know there's going to be an echo there. My, my microphone is kind of messed up right now, but... Come on. Saw the pass there, saw the gap. I saw it. Well, here it is. Perfect. Beautiful run for Martinelli. Really Finish. Like I can with Martinelli for sure. Let's make some subs. Um, calm the game game down a bit. I'll bring on Zuba Mende. Uh, I'll bring on Jesus in the middle. So, my centre backs are doing pretty good. Like I feel like we're defensively we're actually doing well, so I'm not gonna ruin that. And then maybe up front I'll just put Trozard as well. Um. Center backs are doing well. We could bring on Timbar, I guess. He's not too bad. I think it's Ben White, just in case. No, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll bring on Timbar. He can do it. Beautiful stuff. All right, see how I can just easily add bring in these players. Trozard's a striker for me now. I usually play him as a cam, but after seeing the way he plays for us, and I was looking at some of the goals he gets for Brighton. He is just, he is pure attacking. Do you know with Trozard, the only thing he lacks is like physical presence. That's it. But even that goal he scored against Burnley, like he sacrificed himself. But he's actually such a techie guy. It's just because he's a small player. But that's what makes him good anyway. So he's a striker for me. Impressed really well as well. He's not the slowest. But I feel like I'd rather him up front for Moving sure. Because his, attack, his attacking position is really good. Arsenal can preserve the victory. Kubo. You're done, bro. You're not catching. Don't even think Arsenal about it. Don't room. even think about it. Keeper getting the touch. He had work to do, the goalkeeper. Um, my crossing's been poor today. Oh my gosh, why is he all the way there? How is he free? He's cutting on his left. Late in this game, but who knows what oh my to gosh. What clearance. Piece of defending. Oh my gosh. Why the pass is crazy. At pace is always a possibility. He's off. He's off. He's off. Well, they need to get bodies back. Must be. Oh my well, gosh. Would have put this game to bed. Bro. Well, that would have won the game for the finishing. The finishing today has been absolutely atrocious. Now to things. Here's the substitution. Absolutely atrocious. Martinelli. Oh, could be That's a goal. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Yeah, definitely game over. Game is definitely over. 
Beautiful run from Yeah, where is the defending? But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Beautiful finish from Trezard there. Beautiful win. You do the double over Liverpool, hey? That's crazy if that's... Um, we're playing them in such a close concession of games. Like, we play them in December, and then what? This is Jan, I think? Or Feb? We're playing them in, so... Time for just a few questions. The gap between Liverpool will only be a month when we play them. So we'll be playing them within a month, which is good. Their team, I just... I, I would like to get out of the way, personally. Them and City, get them out of the way, and then everyone else, we can kind of be like... There's a way to definitely beat them. Obviously, we've beaten City this season, so us and Chelsea, Chelsea and Wolves have shown that the ways to beat City. But it's it's hard. Like it, you have to be intense on them, pretty Thanks much. So much. You have to have the right pressing. players. Chelsea actually have good pressing players, young, energetic players. That's how you have to play against them. Pereira and Cafe's Arsenal struggles continue. What? The guy put in an amazing performance. Are you crazy? with someone else there's a surprising team in the la liga that's doing well let me just yeah it is yes it's corona yeah oh my goodness yeah their team apparently they have like this i don't want to compare them but they got like a semi arsenal like a really young energetic team yeah they've only lost one they've won 11 games drawn one and lost one if that don't scream buyers Players are going to be getting bought from that team for sure. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Someone was telling me about it and I was like, yeah, I don't, I've never really heard of the team, but we have so many squad options, guys. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you lot are liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you lot in the next video. Champions League. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.